What's up, guys? What is going on? Private label case study week number 19, I think. 20. 20. I think. Um, doesn't matter. Everything's kind of the same at this point. <laughs> uh, product, again, just to uh, get you guys caught up if you guys haven't watched the last video, uh, we ordered 500 uh, units, and this, this uh, initial 500 units has the custom packaging that we wanted. It doesn't necessarily have the logo on the product uh, like we wanted to, but we're going to work on that as we continue moving forward. But uh, we just wanted to get 500 units um, sent to us right off the bat because most of our inventory has already sold and we just want to get this product running already. And um, Cost 2800 Yeah, cost 2800 And now we're just waiting for them to arrive. And in yeah. the meantime, we're... Well, we haven't really started, but we need to start working on the marketing aspect getting yeah. our, our social media pages set up and mm -hmm. figuring out maybe some Facebook ads and stuff like that. Yeah, we're going to have to create a couple YouTube videos demonstrating the product. That's Which gonna is easy. drive traffic to that Instagram, or excuse me, to that uh, to the Amazon listing. Yeah, we're going to be collecting emails from that. Mm -hmm. So like give a coupon code in exchange for some emails, start building an email list for this brand. Yeah, and also uh, potentially make some videos for Facebook. Uh, because this product is has has a couple videos on Facebook and that did really well. None of these pages are actually selling the product; they're just demonstrating it. And yeah. this product has like millions and millions of views. It gets a lot of attention because exactly. it's it's different. So imagine if we got millions of views on an ad because it's getting shared, and then we retarget those people with an ad to the product. Yeah, that's money. Mm -hmm. That's money, baby. So uh, that's it right now for that product. Uh, product number one. Um, if you guys haven't um, remembered that that product is actually still selling, uh, we didn't go full we didn't go full on with it, but it's still selling. Oh yeah, the trickling. first the first one we ever did. Yeah. Yeah, it's like trickle sales, and then uh, which means we haven't lost any money. Yeah, and so we've actually been thinking about it too. We're gonna start uh, researching for a third product uh, just to keep on moving because uh, there's a lot of time involved in this. So the least we can do is, you know, research, order some samples, because it's just going to take a long time to get things straight with whatever future products we go with. So, uh, yeah, we're going to start also using uh, bar launch services. Yeah, previously um, we've done all of our research with free tools. Yeah. So completely mm -hmm. free tools and all these uh, research methods we did. So we're going to get, I forget what bar launch is, product research is called, but they have a little suite of tools that we're thinking about getting. Mm -hmm. And then um, we'll be using that to do more research yep so you guys should start expecting uh maybe by next week maybe you know a couple maybe a candidate for product number three uh maybe. private label yeah yeah because uh it didn't take us too long to find these initial two products that we started with it took us like, about a week and we weren't even uh researching hard and we didn't even have the correct tools we're just well, we had the correct tools we're using free you know bottom line tools um that anyone can use um like Unicorn Smasher and stuff like that. So, um, that's it. Anything else you want to say? Um, I'm going to Rosarito for the weekend. Just to let you guys know. He's going to go party <laughs> down to Mexico with his boys. Yep. That's the cool part about being an entrepreneur. And, uh, you doing anything? I'm not doing shit. <laughs> He's probably going to do a book sale. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, um, so that's it. That's it. I that's guess. it, guys. What that's else do we need to talk about? Not much. That's it. So uh, hope you, hopefully you guys like the video. Uh, you should start seeing, you know, maybe a couple different things in the next coming videos because we're gonna we're starting to move forward with the private label stuff. So yeah, that's good. So we can we can start showing you guys some numbers, the results of our advertising efforts. Mm -hmm. There's our this is the results of our marketing efforts, you know, showing sales, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And just letting you guys behind the scenes of a beginning private label business because this is what this case study is about, right? Yep. We're just, you know, there's not a whole lot going on right now, so it's sort of just a little vlog, but mm -hmm. you know, you guys are going to stick around and see some cool things happen. Yep. And um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So that's it, guys. If you guys like the video, like the video, uh, subscribe. Share the video if you think uh, anyone else would be interested in this. And uh, if you are interested in learning how to make money selling books, we got a great playlist on how to sell books on Amazon uh, using the FBA stuff. So go check that out, and that's it. You guys have a good day.